Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the GA510 10 watt radio from Radiotity. And we'll get started right after this. Okay, the items that come in the box you get the wrist strap, earpiece with microphone, antenna, two 2200 milliamp hour batteries, the radio, owner's manual, bell clip, charger, and the wall wart. Okay, have a quick look around the radio. Starting on the right side with the bottom button here. If you long press it, you get the monitor. You can opens up the squelch for you. Short press will change the power setting from low, medium to high. The upper button, that gives you the traditional FM radio stations. Push to talk. On the top, you have your volume power knob. Indicator light of whether you're transmitting or receiving and the SOS button, and this will transmit over the air if you push it, and the antenna. On the right side, open this flap, gives you the receptacle for the Kenwood cables for programming and microphones. On the back, you have your battery release and the two screws for where the clip goes. On the front here, you have your display screen, menu button, and if you stay in the menu long enough, it'll kick you back out to the frequency or memory mode, wherever you were last at. VFO memory select, AB select, you go either up or down the channels. Back button gets you out of the menu, and you can scroll through the menus using the up and down arrows. Then you have your basic keys. And when you're in the menu, you can just push whichever menu item you want, and it'll take you directly through there instead of scrolling through the whole thing. The menu has 37 different selections. It's pretty much your standard Baofeng fanfare from the menu. The manual is pretty well written. You definitely do not need any translators for it. They give you a description of all the menu settings. Of course, towards the end, you get your usual CTCSS and DCS code numbers. It tells you how to program it. There are some errors, but not too many. It's pretty easy to decipher. Starting at page 51, is manual switches auf Deutsch. You get it in German. All in all, pretty impressed with this manual. They got some pretty good uh, photos and illustrations to show you what everything's for and how to work things. At the time of filming this video, the radio is going for $64.99 on Amazon. There is a 10% coupon on here for you. That's saying the frequency range is 144 to 148 megahertz for 2 meter and 420 to 450 for 70 centimeter. Obviously, it's VHF, UHF. They give you some options for external microphone and a longer antenna. They're saying it has a capability of putting out 10 watts, and we will be testing that a little later on. Give you a little comparison chart. They're showing... Three other radioddities and a other radio. And on Radioddity's website, it's the same price. And they do give you the, the programming cable as well, along with the two batteries. It is a tri-power, 10 watt. Some of the specifications. Now on their website, the Radioddity website, it's a little different. They're th saying 136 to 174 megahertz for VHF and UHF is 400 to 480. You do have 128 memory channels. The menu is pretty much set up like any other Baofeng you've ever seen. The batteries are 7.4 volt. They're saying that it weighs about 300 grams or 0.66 pounds. And again, they show you what comes in the box. First thing we're programming in here is a simplex frequency. First thing you want to make sure, obviously, the power is on. Make sure that you're in VFO mode. And then enter the frequency you want. We do 146520. Once you have that, enter the menu. And you're going to go to item 26. That puts you in the memory mode. Click it and choose which place you want it. We're going to put it into spot 2. And now you're saved. Now, you cannot do a numeric 
or alpha tag in the from the front panel. You have to use the programming software. Switch back over to memory, and you can see that you got the little number two here on the right, and your frequency is in there. To program a repeater into the radio, you're gonna again make sure your power is on. Switch to VFO mode. Enter the frequency you want. In this case, 145. 220. Then you go into the menu and you go to menu item 13. This is where you choose your CTCSS code, and we want 1035. And you can hold it down to get there faster. Push menu again to save it. Then you go to menu item number 24. And this will choose the direction of your repeater. In this case, we're minus. Save that one. And then you're gonna to go to menu item number 25. Put in the offset. And for two meters, that's 0.600. Like I said, if you wait long enough, it'll kick you out of the menu. Then the next one, you're gonna choose which memory channel you want it locked in at, and that's menu item 26. And we're gonna to go to number 15. And again, you can hold it to get there faster. Lock it in. And back out. Switch back into memory. And you can see up here on the right side, it shows you number 15. Radiotity also provides a free programming software. All you do is, when you're in their website, go to support. Click on Radiodity. This will bring you to a list of the radios they offer. Find the one you want, GA510. You can get a programming guide or a new user's manual, and you will click the Download Software tab, and it'll download it for you. Then go ahead and install it on your computer. Once you get the program all installed on your computer, go ahead and open it up. Go to settings, pick the port you need. In my case, it's COM7. Hit OK. You can either choose the read icon here or go to program and read data from radio. Click start and it'll begin to read. And you can see it brings up everything we loaded in before. This time we're gonna come down to memory slot 14 and we'll enter 147.060. You have to pick the code you want. In this case, it's 100. Got your power on high, wide or narrow, wide. Name for this one is MESAC. And you will have to put in the direction you want by entering the freak your transmit frequency in this case it's 147660 once you've got everything in there you want you can either set reset it to factory defaults down here you can clear all your channel information gives you a choice up here in settings of Chinese or English we will Stick with English. Go to the edit, like I just did, click optional feature. That allows you to change a lot of the menu items. Like your timeout timer, squelch level, Vox, the language, backlight. 
your work mode, how you want it to read, channel or frequency, or channel of the VFO. This is where you show your name of the channels. Once you have everything set up the way you want it, go ahead and click close. Go back up to program if you want, or you can just click on the icon for right. Click start and it'll send it right back to the radio. That's all there is for programming this radio. This radio can be programmed with the use of chirp, which makes life a lot easier. The radio also, as I said before, does come with a programming cable. You do start with new, or you can just go right to read from radio. Pick whatever port you have. You go to Radioddity, and then choose the radio you need. In this case, we want GA510. Hit OK, and it starts downloading. You'll see the LED light on top of the radio flashing red. And here you have the repeater we programmed earlier, as well as the simplex frequency. Now you can name it. A repeater that will input 145 160. This one is in Newport, does have tone, and the code is 156.7, and it automatically populates the direction and the offset. You can choose if you want to skip it or not for doing searches or scans. That's really all there is to it for programming in here. Chirp makes life a lot easier. You can also go into settings, choose how you want your squelch. Voice enable, no, I don't want to listen to that. Auto backlight. How you want it to display. I want channel name channel and name, Fox is off, you go to an advanced one that gives you some more of the other stuff like the beep, we don't need that. Once you have everything set up the way you want it, go back to radio and now you're going to upload to the radio. Again, it'll let you choose the port you need. Click OK, and it uploads. On the upload, the light at the top of the radio will start flashing green. Okay, now we're going to do a quick power test, and we're going to start with 2 meters. We're going to be using 146.520. It is going into a dummy load. We're going to start with, we're going to start with low power first. And we're getting about three quarters of a watt. On medium, getting about three watts. And now for high, we're at seven watts. Now let's try 440 using 446, triple zero. And again on low power. We're at almost one and a half watts. Medium power, 3.6 watts. And high power, we're at about seven watts. Would like to have seen this a bit higher, but on a personal note, I don't know that I'm too keen on sending 10 watts of power through my brain pan. I'm going to hook this up to a little simplex repeater I picked up, and we're going to see the range that we get around where I live. I'm about a mile and a quarter away from the house. I'm going to be using a little simplex repeater to see if we can reach the house from here. I'll be on frequency 147.555. WJ6F testing, one, two, three. WJ6F testing, one, two, three. 
Oh, made it pretty strong. I'm gonna try and go a little further and see if we can get about two miles. Okay, now I'm about two miles away. We'll see how well we reach from here. Again, still on 147.555. WJ6F testing, one, two, three. WJ6F testing. WJ6F testing, one, two, three. WJ6F testing. That well, seems to work quite well at about two miles away. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.